So, Jadon Sancho to Manchester United is looking very likely, with reliable sources confirming the reports that Manchester United will go all in for Jadon Sancho and Jadon Sancho wants to move back to Manchester. Jadon Sancho himself also does a subtle little bit of teasing on social media. So hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and in today's video I'm going to be talking about five things that will happen if Jadon Sancho joins Manchester United. But before I get into this video, please take two seconds to quickly hit that like button and then subscribe down to Alice Talks Football so you don't miss daily football content from me. So the first thing that will happen if Jadon Sancho joins Manchester United is we'll have more of a threat off the bench. For most of the season, like before Bruno joined, Manchester United had a front three of James on the right, Martial strike, Rashford on the left and we'd have uh, Pereira as Cam, meaning our bench options when we went 1-0 down on an attack were Lingard, who haven't got a goal or assist in the Premier League in over a year, 17-year-old Greenwood at the start of the season that had done very well and like he saved us quite a bit and Chong who's not up to it just yet. So you're thinking of Manchester United, one of the top teams in the world, on the bench they have Lingard, Greenwood and Chong to turn around a game. Now Greenwood is good in fairness to him, you know but he, he was 17 at the start of the season. Now if we play a game and we have Sancho, when we have a front three of Sancho, Martial and Rashford, and then we have James and Greenwood off the bench, James with his lethal pace, Greenwood, we know what he, what he can do, he can score a goal, he gets one chance, he'll take it. We could also have a Garlo on the bench, if, you know, a Garlo stays, so all of a sudden we actually have a little bit of threat off the bench, because you look at Man City's bench and they have Jesus, Sterling, Sane sometimes, well we have Chong, Greenwood, Lingard, you know, and having Jaden Sancho means we have more depth in attack, so we actually have a threat off the bench, so if we're 1-0 down and the attack isn't working, we can bring on a James of his crucial pace, we can bring on a Greenwood, rather than relying on a Lingard in the, to turn around the game, even though he hasn't got a goal or an assist in over a year, in the Premier League. Now the second point is, United can attack more down the right wing. Now this season and last season, Manchester United have majority attacked down the left, making us quite predictable. Last season, only 31% of our attacks were down the right, which was the lowest in the whole league, meaning we attacked down the right less than any other team, meaning we're very predictable because they know we prefer the left. If we have Jadon Sancho, we've got a player that's on the right, that is an out and out right winger, and it gives us more strength on the right, meaning we can tap down the right more and change up our attacking patterns. Because now you've got Sancho, who's a massive threat on the right, bombing down the wing, you know, and he can pass it, he can shoot, he can score, he can do a lot of things. And it just means that, like, we're less predictable because we have the least amount of attacks on the right out of any team in the Premier League. So most teams know we prefer the left. So we are a little bit predictable. Now, the third point is, which kind of links to this last point, is Jaden Sancho is an out and out ringer out and out right winger. Manchester United have been crying out for an out and out right winger since Nani. Now in my opinion we haven't had a proper out and out right winger since Nani. You've got to think James plays on the right but first the left. Rashford but first the left. Martial but first striker. Greenwood but first striker. Pereira but first cam. And Lingard but first the cam position. We don't have a player in our squad whose favourite position is right mid, right wing. And Jadon Sancho, yes, he can play all across the front three, but his favourite area to play is on the right. That's where he's played mostly for Dortmund, and that's where he's been so successful. The fourth thing that will happen if Jadon Sancho joins Manchester United is we have a chance creator in attack. Now, Rashford and Martial, great players, but they are goal scorers. They have like many more goals in terms of assists. Martial has 12 goals, 3 assists in the Premier League this season. Rashford has 14 goals, 4 assists in the Premier League this season. Jadon Sancho has 14 goals and 15 assists in 23 Bundesliga games. Now those stats are insane as it is, but he's got more assists than goals. You know, his assist to goal level is generally quite equal, but he gets more assists to goals. Whereas our other two attackers have much more goals to assist. And we can see this a lot. For example, in the Manchester City game, Marshall had the ball and it was at a tight angle. And if you shoot from that angle, maybe you've got a 15-20% chance of scoring. Whereas if he does a, looks up, does a simple pass across the line to Bruno, yeah, just squares it to Bruno, there's a 60% chance the goal will happen because Bruno has a tap in. But Martial goes for the shot and, you know doesn't have that creative look up mind like um, Sancho, you know, Marshall and Rashford, they have a head for goal. Well, Sancho in that situation, he'd look up, he'd square it to Bruno and Bruno would score because for Sancho an assist is just as good as a goal for him. You know, he, he's happy with an assist just as much as a goal. He's a player that likes getting assists. He racks up assists, you know, so when he's on the attack, he doesn't just always shoot. He looks up, you know, he can put a good cross in, he puts a good ball in, he creates chances. This will be really crucial because this season Manchester United have struggled most when teams sit back against us because we can't break them down. But Jadon Sancho can pick a pass that can break down the team. He can get a pass into the box 
through a load of players to Martial, you know, he doesn't just go for the shot, which I think is massive. Obviously, Martial and Rashford are great players, but you know what I mean? They, they're all they're all eyes for goals. They're not really chance creators. While with Jadon Sancho, we've got another chance creator in the team to work alongside Bruno Fernandes, which means when teams sit back deep against us, it hopefully won't be so much of a problem next season. And the fifth thing is that Manchester United will have a deadly trio. And of all top teams, they've always had a deadly trio. As much as I hate to see it, Liverpool's a top team. Mane, Firmino, Salah, you know... Barcelona had Messi, Neymar, Suarez at one point, you know, Bale, Benzema, Ronaldo. Do you remember all these front threes? Manchester United don't have, like, a front front three. Now, James James is a good player, but, you know, he's he's a guy that's come from the Championship and, you know, he, and then gone into the Premier League and he's only 22. Richard and Martial have been pretty excellent this season. I think James has been good as well. But if you've got a front three of Rashford, Martial and Sandra, that looks like a pretty deadly trail. Trio. Not to forget the average age of that front three would be 22 years of age. Like the average age of the Liverpool front three is like 29. 22 years of age, meaning they can only get better and better and better. Meaning they have the potential to possibly be the deadliest front three in world football in a few years to come. All top teams have that deadly front three. And with Sancho, it's like Manchester United have formed this deadly front three. And it could be the next stepping stone in getting us to be like Premier League winners and a top team again. Consistently landing the Champions League spot. And once you've got... Once you're consistently landing the Champions League spot, it's much easier to draw big players to the club. We've lost out on a few players in the past because we haven't got Champions League football and it's been harder to get them or we just have to offer them stupid money to come and then they kind of end up being a flop. But now, if we have a deadly front three, you know, people look at us and they think, oh, they're real. It will help attract more players to Manchester United. So thank you for watching Alice Talks Football. Today's video was five things that would happen if Jane and Sancho joined Manchester United. Do you think I missed anything? Let me know in the comment section down below. I read and reply to as many comments as I can. Hit that like button if you have not already. Please subscribe to Alice Talks Football. It means a lot. Comment video suggestions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.